Coming up on Ag Week TV, these twin brothers tackle ag engineering projects and problems. We'll have a conversation with South Dakota Republican Christy Nome about the tax reform legislation recently passed through Congress. We'll look at how the electronic logging device mandate will impact agriculture. And we'll meet a young woman who has really found her voice thanks to FFA. Welcome to Ag Week TV, I'm Shauna Olson. Livestock transporters are facing a new concern. The electronic logging device rule went into effect on December 18th. It's a real game changer for the trucking industry, but especially those hauling livestock due to the strict hours of service. Livestock groups have convinced the Department of Transportation to grant a waiver until mid-March. But as Michelle Rook says, it's unclear if they'll find a compromise. Truckers hauling livestock have received a 90-day waiver from the Electronic Logging Device, or ELD, mandate, but the industry is hoping for a longer-term solution. The delay is until mid-March, but the rule requires certain drivers install ELDs on their trucks. It also limits them to 11 hours of driving daily after 10 hours off-duty. They'll be limited to how far they can drive, and once their time is up, the truck will shut off, and it doesn't matter if they're alongside the road or what the temperature is or where they're at. Farm groups say that's unworkable for those hauling livestock and is dangerous for animals. And that's just not appropriate. It's an animal welfare issue and it's, uh, it's just a, a bad husbandry practice. And if livestock must be unloaded while truckers rest, the commingling could create animal health issues. If you have uh, different cattle unloaded in, in a particular yard or pen, you always have the risk of picking up diseases. So farm groups are asking the Department of Transportation for a solution or an exemption from the ELD mandate. We are working several angles to figure out what we can do to show that a truckload of cattle is not the same as a truckload of toilet paper and they need to have some carve out in order to make sure that we can get those animals to market in good health. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Week. The DOT has exempted those hauling animals from some of the regulations if they're within a 150-mile radius. But farm groups say it doesn't take the unique needs of the livestock industry into account. Payouts have been made in the settlement in the McMartin Farm bankruptcy. The mediated settlement was reached in December. It divides $9 million among the major creditors. Ron McMartin Jr. ran a major farming operation in North Dakota before filing bankruptcy in February. Creditors say they're owed $64 million in debts. The settlement amounted to about 14 cents on the dollar for secured creditors, but nothing so far for unsecured creditors, such as work. BMO Harris Bank is the largest creditor with a $43 million claim, but will receive just under $5 million. The estate is selling 139 acres in Pemina County on January 11th, and the bankruptcy trustee is looking into recovering McMartin's lake home, valued at more than a million dollars. Debate continues on whether the tax law passed by Congress last month will help or hurt most Americans. But South Dakota Representative Christy Nome says it's a very good thing for farmers and ranchers. Spencer Chase has more from Washington. I believe that producers across the country are going to see huge benefits in the changes that are in this bill. South Dakota Congresswoman Christy Nome says the bill will be beneficial to farmers and ranchers. We fought to keep interest deductibility. Uh, we expanded Section 179 even more than what it was when we permanently put into place the $500,000 uh, provision a, a year or so ago. Uh, we also use 100% expensing bonus depreciation. We gave a double exemption on the estate tax. Nome says that doubled exemption to about $11 million for an individual and $22 million for a couple will help many producers. She says she's still an advocate for full repeal, but she also wanted to see a bill reach final passage. Um, we had to get something that we could get the votes on in the Senate and then the House. Now, I think our House members that were on that committee came united wanting to repeal uh, the death tax, but we ran into some roadblocks in the Senate. And in order to get the votes on the total package, uh, we just didn't have the votes to repeal the death tax. 
do you anticipate a net benefit for farmers and ranchers as a result of this bill? Absolutely. The certainty, first of all, is going to be big. Knowing that they have lower rates on the small business side, they have lower individual rates. If they're a C-Corp for some reason, they're going to have a much lower rate. That tells them that they're going to have more cash flow to reinvest in their operation. Reporting in Washington, I'm Spencer Chase. Our region is home to some big names in ag equipment and innovation. And now an ag engineering firm is hoping to take its place among them. Twin brothers Matt and Jesse Fall own Red Engineering, also known as Ready. As Mikkel Pates explains, the business will take on nearly any project or problem. Matt Fall was working as an ag engineer at Amity Technology of Fargo. But in 2012, he got restless, left his job and spent a few months traveling. There was probably the, the drive to just do something different and to step out and change something. Heading home from his trip, Matt was inspired to start Ready. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna start this company, I'm gonna do engineering services. First, we prototype it by 3D printing. Matt and his identical twin brother, Jesse, both received engineering degrees from NDSU. They've been close all their lives and it wasn't long before Matt convinced Jesse to join him. The company offers engineering, design and fabrication services to ag and other manufacturing companies. A big difference of Ready is we not only design or engineer components, but we can uh, be a part of the whole process, whether it be manufacturing or sourcing the components the design side, the technical drawing side, anything related to machine design, metal fabrication. This is part of a planter that a farmer came to us, wanted us to design and build one for him, so we 3D printed it. The brothers grew up on a hobby farm near Horace, North Dakota. There they learned a lot about agriculture, engineering, and hard work from their dad and grandfather at Hillsboro. They were involved with equipment and animals. We were kind of mechanical growing up and we always loved to tear things apart, sometimes not able to put them back together. But that gave us many lifelong experiences and skill sets as we went forward. In its short tenure, the company has seen the strong ag economy weaken, so they have diversified. But they say their experience growing up on the farm and their strong brotherly bond has helped them weather it. To be able to share in the challenges and the victories, that's always a, a wonderful thing to have. And I don't think everyone fully gets to have that experience. In West Fargo, this is Mikkel Pates for Ag Week. Mikkel has much more on Ready in the latest edition of Ag Week magazine. Ahead on Ag Week TV, we'll meet a young woman who really found her voice through FFA. If you get right down to it, what's a farmer's job? Well, farmer's job is to feed people. Farmers collectively, our job is to feed the world. At Peterson Farm Seed, we get to have a little bit bigger picture right in our region. We get to help those farmers that we work with increase their productivity, increase the yields that they get on their farms, and as a result, more people can eat. If you're thinking about selling a piece of land or you're looking to sell some farm equipment, or if you're thinking about a retirement or involved in an estate, give us a call. We'll sit down and tell you all about the Steffes way. We think it's a good way. That's how we approach it. If any of those are in your plans, give us a call or go to steffesgroup.com. Learn all about us. Hope to hear from you. Make every minute of the growing season count. Schedule your equipment for a genuine Case IH parts and service uptime inspection at Titan Machinery. Our professional service technicians have the training and experience to pinpoint and repair problems before they have a chance to shut you down during the season. Avoid the high cost of in-season downtime. Give yourself the peace of mind knowing your equipment is ready to work. Schedule your equipment today by going to uptime18.com or calling your local Titan Machinery dealer. That's Titan Machinery, providing you with genuine Case IH parts and service. Intelligent farming means more crop from every acre. That starts with smart machines and precision application. Introducing the new Rogator C-Series from Challenger, featuring a newer, smarter, more precise way to apply fertilizers and nutrients, more accurately and more efficiently than ever before, resulting in less overlap and less crop damage, all to make you more productive and more profitable. To find out more, contact Butler Machinery today. 
Small or large, Superior Grain Equipment has a storage solution for you with a wide variety of bin options and accessories, along with site planning and superior customer service. Plus, from top to bottom, we offer the industry's best bins and warranties to protect your products and your grain storage investment. Get superior quality, protection, and reliability with generations of experience and dependability. Make the superior choice today with Superior Grain Equipment. Ask about our winter discounts available now. FFA is the largest student-run organization in the nation and is credited for the success of many students. We found a student at Fertile Beltrami High School who is finding the organization to be a real boost for her and her school. And lastly, Britton Fugelseth! Britton Fugelseth never imagined she would be an FFA. She says her friends sort of pushed her into it. They just signed me up for an event, so I was forced to go. <laughs> Once she started the program, she never stopped. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move She is, or was, a very stubborn 7th and 8th grader. It was one of those kids that you just had to tell, you're going to do this, and I promise you'll thank me later. And according to her FFA instructor, Mrs. Ruprecht, she's thriving. She really is that unique ag student that's not traditional. She didn't have a clue about anything about livestock, but I was able to get a grant this summer, and then she raised two lambs and kept them alive, so we're thankful. Along with a newfound love of agriculture, Britain has another passion. I knew that I wanted to sing. I knew that I liked singing, so I didn't think it would get this big. I didn't think I would sing in public. <laughs> With her deep, robust voice, she placed second at the National FFA Convention in Indianapolis in October, which is a stiff competition. Ooh, yeah. And now her singing career is advancing as well. She's being asked to sing at a lot of events throughout the community. The thing that hits me the most about FFA is that it creates growth and leadership skills for the future and you make new friends doing it and everybody is friends with everybody. There's no, it doesn't even feel like competition, it just feels like you're making new friends. In fact, Britton says the entire FFA chapter has taken on a new life thanks to Mrs. Ruprecht who came on board about five years ago. I don't think it was a big thing before but then we got our new instructor and she came and it just boomed really fast and everybody joined. She just kind of forces people to do things and then they start liking it, which is a good thing. It was just like a movie. It was just like a song when we were young. It's a different version. <laughs> Britton says she has always planned on becoming a teacher someday and now with her FFA experience and her inspirational teacher, she plans to become an ag teacher. Is there some warmer weather on the way? Your AgriWeather forecast is next. And later, we'll show you how a local ag manufacturing company has taken this elevator to the next level. Luckin Trucks and Parts sells quality used parts for all makes and models. With over 50 acres of trucks and parts and new inventory arriving daily. Family owned and operated since 1966, Luckins specializes in the sale of quality used medium to heavy duty truck parts as well as pre-owned trucks, trailers, and construction equipment. If it's on a truck, we got it. Call us today and let us get you your part. If you're thinking about selling a piece of land or you're looking to sell some farm equipment, or if you're thinking about a retirement or involved in an estate, give us a call. We'll sit down and tell you all about the Steffes way. We think it's a good way. That's how we approach it. If any of those are in your plans, give us a call or go to steffesgroup.com. Learn all about us. Hope to hear from you. If you get right down to it, what's a farmer's job? Well, farmer's job is to feed people. Farmers collectively, our job is to feed the world. 
at Peterson Farm Seed, we get to have a, a little bit bigger picture right in our region. We get to help those farmers that we work with increase their productivity, increase the yields that they get on their farms, and as a result, uh, more people can eat. We're excited to bring you the new Ag Week app with useful features and the latest news and information. Get your Ag Week news, weather, and the latest episodes of Ag Week TV. Plus, see real-time information on the futures market and view local cash bids for your crops. Stay updated and take Ag Week with you. Download the new Ag Week app today. Where do you go for the latest news in agriculture? Ag Week Magazine. Reaching over 30,000 farmers and ranchers in North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Montana. Ag Week provides the most up-to-date information on the markets, the trends, and the people who make it all happen. We're your source for news, not fluff. Dependable. Trusted. Ag Week. Subscribe today by calling 1-800-811-2580. Welcome to the weather portion of Ag Week. I'm meteorologist Nick Maruziak filling in for John Wheeler. It started out 2018 with some cold weather and it's going to remain cold over much of the country, especially the northern and eastern part of the country. Still going to be some chances for snow throughout the next week or two, but we're not looking at any major systems. Instead, just some periods with some light little snow on the horizon. Still though, there's the threat for Arctic air in our area as we continue to see this low pressure system work its way through the Hudson Bay. Overall, cold air still over a good swath of the country from basically Montana on down into Illinois and Iowa, Ida, excuse me, Ohio and through the mid-Atlantic and further to the south still some cold air as you work your way in through the mid-south. The one portion of the country that has been spared the cold air that's been the southwest and we'll continue to see that southwest remain warm as we head in through Tuesday. Still going to have some cold pockets of air throughout the Great Lakes but we're finally going to start seeing this pattern bend just a little bit but what that means for us is more cold weather for Wednesday and it does look likely that we are going to continue to see this cold air move its way down into Thursday. That does mean the frigid temperatures get closer and closer to the U.S. Canadian border and eventually we will see that cold air work its way through the Midwest and all the way down into Texas as we head into Friday. Eventually that will pull its way east as we head into Saturday. For next week, we're still going to be looking at that cold air, but it will retreat as we head in through the first part. Does mean that some warmer temperatures will rise in the south but we're not looking at that lasting too long as cold air does make its way down from Canada yet again through this second part of next week. As for rain and snow, again, we are looking at the possibility of some areas of rain and snow, but we're not looking at any major systems working their way across the central United States. Instead, just some periods where we're going to have some chances at some light snow and rain throughout the central United States, mainly Wednesday into Thursday before next week do have some more snow work its way in across the country for the weekend Saturday into Sunday. Next week does look like we're going to continue seeing our jet bring us these chances for snow, but there's not any major systems on the horizon. So to wrap everything up, still going to be cold over the next couple of weeks, but maybe not locked into that Arctic air mess like we started 2018. There's going to be some chances for little snows, but no major systems over the next two weeks. And then for the last thing, still going to have that threat of Arctic air, although it's not going to be locked in like we started 2018. Dream of building a new home, garage, shop, barn, or commercial space? What if you could create your ideal building for less than you ever imagined? Want to build a cabin in the woods, a workshop, storage space? Then call your Hanson personal building designer now and we'll include professionally engineered sealed plans to your new building absolutely free. Save up to thousands of dollars. Build your ideal dream for less than you ever imagined. Call now. At Superior Grain Equipment, we're committed to quality and service, offering you the best in grain storage and dryers for any size operation. 
Our experts will work with you to determine the most efficient and economical storage solution for your needs. We help protect your bottom line and your future with the industry's best bins and warranties. Make the superior choice for protection today and tomorrow with Superior Grain Equipment. Make every minute of the growing season count. Schedule your equipment for a genuine Case IH parts and service uptime inspection at Titan Machinery. Our professional service technicians have the training and experience to pinpoint and repair problems before they have a chance to shut you down during the season. Avoid the high cost of in-season downtime. Give yourself the peace of mind knowing your equipment is ready to work. Schedule your equipment today by going to uptime18.com or calling your local Titan Machinery dealer. That's Titan Machinery, providing you with genuine Case IH parts and service. Intelligent farming means more crop from every acre. That starts with smart machines and precision application. Introducing the new Rogator C-Series from Challenger, featuring a newer, smarter, more precise way to apply fertilizers and nutrients, more accurately and more efficiently than ever before, resulting in less overlap and less crop damage, all to make you more productive and more profitable. To find out more, contact Butler Machinery today. Every year, 40% of all food in the U.S. never gets eaten. 40%. That's almost half the food we produce. Food waste is a serious problem. It impacts all of us. And it's expensive. Your family is throwing $1,500 a year in the trash. We're working hard to put food waste on the chopping block. And you can do the same at home. Learn how to cook it, store it, and share it. Just don't waste it. Go to savethefood.com. When you think of superior grain equipment, you may think of grain bins. But the Kindred-based company is so much more. They also build specialized facilities. We visited a full-service facility Superior built in Tennessee that offers farmers a faster and more efficient way to market their crops. When Ag Central Co-op in Greenback, Tennessee wanted to build a new facility, they had an ambitious plan. They wanted to be able to do several things, including load or unload grain, as well as dry and roast soybeans. Ag Central uh, feed is one of the primary uh, products that we produce here at Ag Central. And uh, our thinking was to create a market for our current members and to buy a locally grown product as opposed to purchasing a product and having it shipped in here. What they got is a unique full service facility. One of the unique aspects about this project is that it allowed us to integrate many facets of a grain facility, of a storage facility, of a drying facility, coupled with the fact that we've integrated a hammer mill operation, a roller mill operation, a roasting operation. So we've taken something that's very unique to this area and, and took a greenfield site and started from scratch with it. Superior designed the facility to meet the co-op's multiple needs and manage the project from start to finish, something that's unique to the industry. So taking everything from the marketing structure that Ag Central has in this area, we integrated those philosophies of what was needed at the facility to put this package together. We wanted to be able to do multiple things throughout the system, uh, not have a bottleneck if we were receiving beans or trying to roast beans or corn for that matter. So we've been able to uh, take the facility, be able to roast beans, be able to receive beans, be able to load out beans, be able to load out a product. So uh, we are flexible in what we can do here. And we wanted to uh, be able to dry, to roast, and then to unload or load all at the same time. Of course, the roasting operation is, is what it's all about, but we are doing some other things such as processing corn. If we're not doing beans, we can take corn in and uh, roll it or, or hammer mill it and send it to our feed mill for use in our own feed mill. While this project is specialized for this co-op, Superior can build a customized facility for any need with precision and durability. I think the durability, the strength, the craftsmanship, uh, we certainly want our facility to last a long time and that's what we looked at when uh, choosing our structures. This facility has flexibility beyond what most other facilities have. They can basically go from anywhere to anywhere uh, on this facility. In this area, there isn't anything like this, and there isn't anything like this for miles around. So they, they can intake grain from the local farmers, they can bring beans, corn, wheat. At the same time, they can also 
grind and, and hammer mill material out that will give them a finished product that they can load out for feed application. And in this particular area, that's very becoming very, very popular. Still ahead on Ag Week TV, we'll take you to a small school with a very big ag program. We're excited to bring you the new Ag Week app with useful features and the latest news and information. Get your Ag Week news, weather, and the latest episodes of Ag Week TV. Plus, see real-time information on the futures market and view local cash bids for your crops. Stay updated and take Ag Week with you. Download the new Ag Week app today. Where do you go for the latest news in agriculture? Ag Week Magazine. Reaching over 30,000 farmers and ranchers in North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Montana. Ag Week provides the most up-to-date information on the markets, the trends, and the people who make it all happen. We're your source for news, not fluff. Dependable. Trusted. Ag Week. Subscribe today by calling 1-800-811-2580. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. Even though we are one of the most food-rich countries in the world, 15 million children don't know where their next meal is coming from. This is unacceptable, and something the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks is working to solve. Instead of accepting that our country lets billions of pounds of surplus food go to waste every year, Feeding America has made it their mission to help families in need by rescuing this food. Through food pantries and meal programs, the nationwide network of food banks provides more than 3 billion meals, serving virtually every community in the United States, including yours. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank by visiting feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're feeding America. FFA students are making a big impact on youngsters in the small town of Scranton, North Dakota. The FFA chapter has a special project called Ag in the Classroom. Originally, it was called After School 4-H. Once a month, they teach elementary kids, grades K through 4, about agriculture after school. Each session has a different theme and they get a good turnout too. About 25 to 30 elementary students participate. The students get a snack and learn all about ag. Every day in school when we see them in the hallway because we're connected elementary and high school and they're like, when's after school 4-H? When can we come? It's just fun to see that they like to come and enjoy what they do and they're always so hyper and just love to be there. The Scranton FFA chapter is unique because there are 65 students in grades 7 through 12, and 45 of them are in FFA. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Ag Week TV. For all your ag news, go to agweek.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you next week.